Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Jory with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Saint Jane Francis de Chantel lived an incredible life of faith. Born in 1572 to the head of the French Parliament, her father raised her on his own after her mother died before Jane Francis turned two years old. The young lady grew into a beautiful, lively, and joy-filled woman who loved the faith. And at the age of 20, she married the Baron de Chantal. She and the Baron deeply loved each other, and together they had six children, although only four lived past infancy. As the mistress of her castle, she restored the custom of daily mass and engaged herself in charitable works. Sadly, the Baron was tragically killed while away on a hunting trip leaving Jane Francis a widow at just 28 years old. The Baroness de Chantel was heartbroken and for four months she wallowed in her grief, taking a personal vow of chastity. Shortly after her husband's death, her father-in-law threatened to disinherit her four children unless she consented to bring them all to live with him. She was forced to agree for the sake of her children. Her father-in-law was an arrogant and frivolous man, and his housekeeper was equally arrogant and cruel to Jane Francis. But she bore all of this with a humble and joyful spirit for seven years. During her free time, she would pray and ask that God would give her a spiritual director. And in a vision, she saw the man whom God had chosen. Then in Lent of 1604, she went to visit her father in Dijon. It was during this visit that she first met St. Francis de Sales, and she recognized him as the man from her vision. She put herself under his spiritual guidance, and after three years of correspondence, they discussed a desire to found a religious order for widows and women whose health, age, or other issues prevented them from entering already established orders. In 1610, their community was officially established in Anisi and was named the Visitation Order. The nuns would be dedicated to spiritual and corporal works of mercy without the rigors of cloistered life. However, they quickly met opposition towards the idea of women in active ministry and the order was forced to become a cloistered community. Under Jane Francis, the Visitation established 69 convents and she oversaw them all. Her personal trials would continue, however. In 1627, her son was killed on the battlefield, and a year later, the plague was ravaging France, killing her son-in-law and daughter-in-law. Jane Francis turned the suffering into service, and she converted the convent at Anisi into a hospital. She and her sisters used all of their resources to help those suffering from the plague. By the end of her life in 1641, the Visitation Order had over 80 convents. Today, they number around 190, and the nuns live contemplative lives working for widows, women with poor health, and they even run schools. Jane Francis was truly a remarkable woman, having experienced so much of life's joys and sufferings, all while remaining true to Christ through her many acts of charity. St. Jane Francis de Chantel, pray for us.